question form. Go behind the Iron Burton USA. The Ron Paul revolution has not ended. It has just begun, and it has gone international. Now the object is to spread his word of liberty to the rest of the world and make people in the world understand that Americans do not all think the same. There was a time when the rest of the world wanted to be like America and have the same values and liberties and freedoms that America has come to take for granted. Some people ask, how can I make a difference? Well, you can make a difference by sharing the ideas and the concepts of liberty, improving those ideas, remixing those ideas, adapting those ideas for people of other countries. The fact of the matter is, we are not all the same, but people wanted to be like America and share those same liberties and values and freedoms and incorporate those ideas into their own way of government and life. America is a model to the rest of the world. The rest of the world looks to us as a place with a lot of freedoms and liberties and they want to emulate us and be like us. How do we uh, set an example to the rest of the world about how to accomplish this? Do we do this by creating a huge army to go in and cause wars? Or do we do this by supplying arms to the rest of the world? Well, we have become a leader to the rest of the world in both of these areas. We are now the biggest provider of all arms to the world. We produce over 75% of all the arms in the world that are supplied to third world nations. And we also provide military forces to go around the world and ensure their liberties and freedoms through our actions. The 12 years of war going around the world protecting it has caused America to go into a state of financial collapse. We owe a lot more money and the interest rate on what we paid for the military intervention has left us terribly in debt. Because of being in a state of war that is really not needed, the Congress has been able to legislate a lot of our rights and freedoms right away from us, bending and twisting the uh, Constitution and the Bill of Rights to a point where it's almost unrecognizable while increasing their salaries three times. Since World War II, America has probably gone from the most well-respected and well-liked nations to the most feared nation and a confusing nation to most of the people of most of the worlds. They're looking at our nation in awe of how we could sit back and let this happen to us. And uh, basically they don't want us in uh, most regions of the world. Well, what do we do about it exactly? What is it that we can do about it? Well, what we can do is start with the freedoms that we still do have before it's too late, before they're all taken away and legislated from us by a, a country that seems to have gone just crazy in their pursuits for global domination. It uh, doesn't make sense for America or the American economy or the American people, and we certainly aren't an example to the rest of the world of the way to be. The battle lies in not believing in the media, not believing in what you are being told, and not believing that anybody has the answer or solutions except yourself. And that's where the answers and solutions start, is each individual person. And how can each individual person possibly do that? Well, they can't do it without the knowledge to begin with. And where you should start is by rebroadcasting the message of liberty. How do you do this? Well, first of all, get away from mainstream media. It's poisoning your mind. It's controlled by forces that are well beyond you. Talk to your friends. Become more social. 
Share your knowledge and information with people by rebroadcasting, creating media, uh, putting that media out on the internet, talking to people over the internet. The American people have to reach out and be ambassadors of peace. Make the rest of the world realize that all Americans are not the same. And the fight for liberty and justice is not just limited to our own country, but it has to be spread and shared throughout all the world. Perhaps one of the most famous leaders of all the world lived in a time of occupation. And he urged all his followers and people that believed in what he had to say is not use violence and force as a means to change people's minds. The change has to come from within. That man was Jesus Christ. Question 4. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA.